so here's the deal one of my subscribers chocolate angel sent me this so thank you to her shout out to her before I even <laughs> tell you what was posted <laughs> so Dutch's mother posted a very interesting uh, <clears throat> complaint I guess we could call it about the show black ink crew and the way that her daughter is depicted on the show now I personally say Duchess is depicted as herself on the show but that's just my opinion <laughs> here's what her mother had to say black ink used to be a decent show but now it's a shitty mess VH1 will do anything to make my daughter look crazy she never asked for half of black ink and y'all tried it why would she want half of a shot where nobody likes her VH1 made her go to that lawyer's office for something totally different but get there and flips it around y'all are full of shit y'all don't care who y'all step on for a damn rating this show is starting to look like a fake ass soap opera I refuse to watch this mess of a show any longer okay here's the thing something like this okay this is a tricky situation so let's say what she's saying is 100% true I did not see this episode for the record but if they're playing around with her image on that particular topic I, I don't support that I feel as if they should just keep it 100% real truthful and authentic and I, I, I've always said black ink crew or as I like to call it black stink the soap opera without the soap is basically the realest reality TV show out there to my knowledge when you see some stuff like if two people get into a fight on black ink more than likely it was real if two people two people hate each other on that show more than likely it's real you know it's one of the only ones that really do give you that real I don't want to say pure or unedited because technically technically the show is edited and it's not exactly pure but it's like as close as you're gonna get to an actual react as close as you're gonna get to a reality TV show where reality is taken seriously you know they do a pretty damn good job of catching the ratchetness you know the producers might give people some pep talks or something like that and try to help egg certain certain things on possibly that may be what's going on behind the scenes but for the most part it's it's one of the realest ones you know you don't have a bunch of people just popping up you know like you don't know that they're gonna pop up just just random meetings and stuff like that like on love and hip-hop for example people have said like the, the people who are on the show the cast members they said you know sometime they'll tell you to be at a certain place at a certain time whatever and the next thing you know somebody who you haven't seen in years for example will pop up and, and want to have words with you just like for example that happened to Erica Mena with that woman named Chrissy and where she confronted Erica this is on I think it was Love and Hip Hop New York season 5 and that was like Erica Mena's last season unfortunately <clears throat> Ironically, Erica Mena actually went on Black Ink Crew to get a tattoo on her hand. I think she got the scorpion on her hand. You know, since it's I'm mentioning her in a Black Ink Crew video. Just for example, though, you know, uh, this just is a lot of weird stuff like that that happens on some of these shows. You know, people people doing random pop ups and and producers trying to get people to at least get into a heated argument. You know, for ratings stuff like that. But for what I've seen, for the most part, Black Ink Crew seems to be one of the only anywhere near authentic <laughs> authentic shows so anyways this is all my opinion what do I know all I know is is man Duchess looks good as hell so man if Caesar doesn't want her I'm about to slide up in them DMs but anyways wish me luck let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channel visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine Meet Magazine 7 on Google Plus, Meet Magazine blog and Instagram. Before I go, let me just say this. As fine as Duchess is, I, I gotta call her out though. You know, Duchess has done some pretty mean shit on that show. In this particular circumstance, she may have not been depicted in rather what she was doing or why she was where she was may have not been told to the audience in a truthful way, but at the end of the day, man. Duchess has made herself look bad on the show a handful of times to the point where I was actually cringing. Where I was like, no, Duchess, stop. I just wanted to grab the TV and shake it. And hopefully, the she she'll be shook up a little bit because some of the stuff that she's done in the show, man, she, I mean, people thinking that she wants half of black ink. 
because of some setup where she ends up at the lawyer's office is is the least of her problems some of that other stuff like some of the stuff that she said on the show is way more damaging or offensive or, or you know than that but that's just my opinion let me know what you think about it below meat magazine on youtube meat magazine on twitter meat magazine 7 on google plus meat magazine blog and instagram meatmagazine.blogspot.com is my site and don't forget hit the notification button it's right next to the subscribe button it looks like a bell I wish it looked good like Duchess but it's a bell when you click that button you'll receive notifications when new videos get posted how cool is that meat magazine